<laughs> that story's what? coming up this hour as well. But first, it's Dirty Work Wednesday on the Z Morning Zoo. What the heck are you guys doing? Trying to ruin my life and make me look like a freaking idiot? Call 473 104.5. Hello? Hello? For God's sake, who are you? You're going to get it now. Hello? Dirty Work. Dirty Work Wednesday. Hello. So, you think you can help me? Yeah. We can help you. Dirty Work Wednesday's on the air at 473-104.5. Hi, who's this? This is Brooke. Hey, Brooke. What can we do for you on this Dirty Work Wednesday? Well, um, last week I was listening and I heard you prank call that guy. Um, you said you would do anything for a single mother. So I'm wondering, um, what about a single mother-to-be? Okay. Yeah, yeah that, I'm sure that counts. Are, are you the single mother-to-be? I am, yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so what do you need us to do? Okay, so I, I will explain. Um, I had a boyfriend named Jason. Uh, we were together for almost four years. Um, and, and everybody was always, like, asking us, like, when are you getting married? And, you know, put a ring on it and everything. But, yeah, I'm a patient person. Um, and I, I never put any, any pressure on Jason. Okay. So um, about... A month ago, yeah, a month ago, I realized, like, it's been too long since um since I had my... Oh, okay. So, you're, you're, yeah. You're, yeah, your monthly visitor. Yes. So, um, I took a pregnancy test, and surprise, I, I am pregnant. Um, and I was super excited because, you know, we had talked about the possibility of having a kid, and we'd been together for so long, and so I called Jason... And I was like, I've got something to tell you tonight when you get home. So call me after work. And he got home. And I, I like, raised over his apartment. And I was really excited. And I showed him the stick. And he was like, oh. Like, like I could tell right away he was not excited about that. Okay. So what did he say? So he decides right then at that moment to tell me he wants to break up with me. He's like, I've been seeing someone else. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and I was like, like this is your baby. Like, do you, do you see what's happening? And he was like, long story short, I've been screwing this girl. So, and okay, so, hold on. so he's with. telling you all of this while you're holding this pregnancy test in front of him? Yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, I'm I'm in love with this girl. I want to be with this girl. I've been oh, wow. seeing her and screwing her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, so where does that leave you? Well, I told him to go screw himself, and then I would raise the baby myself. Wow, that's tough. That's tough. Now, do you have any family around that can help you? Yeah, my family is great, and they, they're they already in. They've told me they would help me. Okay, well, that's good. So, well, I don't know what you need us to you do. I mean, normally we bust cheaters, but it, it seems like he already kind of busted himself. <laughs> Yeah, he busted himself, all right. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not what I mean. Um, all right, so what can we do for you then? Well, I I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying really hard to be the better person in all of this and take the high road, you know? I'm like, I'm, I don't want to be the psycho who drives over to his house and like, you know, smashes his car with a baseball bat. And then, and then I'm like the pregnant lady in jail, yeah. you know? I don't want to be that person. Yeah. But it's, it's really hard and I'm struggling with it and then I find out that he took this girl to Orlando so they could go to Disney World together and like like everything about this is terrible but like that that really really pisses me off yeah what a creep that's <laughs> okay so you want some kind of revenge then yeah I I know that I shouldn't but I do I but do. okay yeah, well, you're trying to be responsible for yourself and your child you don't mm -hmm. want to do anything selfish juvenile immature correct not, not at all. Okay, really. well, here's the good news. Lucky, lucky for you, that's our specialty. <laughs> so why don't you let us handle this? Um, now, you said he's going to Orlando soon? Uh, no, he is in Orlando. Like, they went down there for a week, which is absurd. But, yeah, they left yesterday. Okay. What if I told you that we could completely ruin their trip and make them leave with just one phone call? Would that make you feel better? <laughs> um... Yeah, it would, actually. I'm smiling for the first time in, the, in a while. Um, as long as you're, like, not doing anything 
illegal, probably. Uh, <laughs> you know what? It's like borderline illegal. But no, I'm not going to like call in a bomb threat to Disneyland <laughs> or anything of that's what you were thinking. Uh, now, you said he lives in an apartment? Yes. Okay. How well do you remember his apartment? Like... Okay, like stuff that he has in his apartment. Like if I asked you to come up with a list of the top five nicest things that he keeps in his apartment, do you think you could do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I could. Okay, uh, now you got a few minutes here while we're in a commercial break, and then what we'll do is we're going to need that list and his phone number, and we'll call him when we come back, okay? Okay. Sneaky music. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Can I speak to Jason T- please? This is Jay. Hey, uh, Jason, this is uh, Detective Derulo from the 11th Precinct. I'm sorry to make this call, but are you aware that your residence was broken into last night? What? L- no. No, 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 I'm not aware. Yeah, yeah, I guess there were a couple of apartments in this area that were broken into, and I'm standing in the middle of yours as we speak. I mean, and it looks like they did a real number on your stuff, too. How the hell did they get in? I mean, it's a standard break and enter. You know, I, I can see they use some kind of crowbar to pry the door open. Okay, okay, so wait, how bad is it? Well, first of all, it looks like they took, like, all of your home media. So, like, your flat screen is gone. They just ripped that right off the wall. It looks like there used to be some sort of video game system maybe here. That's gone. Um, they took most of the furniture out of here. They, they took my f***ing furniture? Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. They took every piece of furniture out of here. Like, whatever, and whatever was in this big glass case, that's gone. They smashed that, so whatever was in here, I can see they shattered it. Um, that's my f***ing autograph jersey. Son of a b- yeah, they took your entire bed. Um, and I'm assuming this spot in the kitchen is probably where you used to have a refrigerator. Who takes the f***ing refrigerator? What the f***? Is there anything, like, uh, on video? Like, is there a security video? Well, we went to your uh, main office, and they said they don't really have security footage of anything. So, like, right now, we're looking for any witnesses. Uh, look, a- ask the guy who lives across the, uh, the way from me. Ask him. Well, we asked all your neighbors. Nobody saw anything. And uh, now, also, we got the fire department out here because they burned most of your carpet. What the f***? I cannot believe this. Yeah. My carpet? Yeah, now I'm assuming that you had some kind of renter's insurance on this stuff? No, not really. Okay, well, we're, we're going to have to get you to file a claim on this stuff then. Now, what time are you coming back home today? I'm not coming home today. I'm in f-ing Florida right now. Oh, okay. Okay, well, see, now that's a problem then. Um, I don't suppose you'll be home sometime in the next 48 hours, will you? No, I'm here for a f***ing week. I'm supposed to take my girlfriend to Disney. Well, okay, you should probably cancel those plans and get home as soon as you can because you you only have 48 hours to file a report with us. Uh, Otherwise, we can't do anything. Wait, wait, so hold on. I can't file a report with you right now? I can't do this over the phone? Well, no, you have to be present to file a police report, so you, you would need to be here. I don't understand. Look, you're at my apartment. You saw what they did. Well, why can't you file a report? Well, because like I said, we have no witnesses and there's no way of knowing who did this. I mean, to an insurance company, it might make it. I mean, this whole thing look, might look like you did it. Why the f*** would I rob my own apartment? Break all my and set the floor on f***ing fire. <laughs> well, I mean, they might think for the insurance money or something. And, and quite frankly... It's only going to look more suspicious that while you were conveniently out of town at Disney, all this just happened to take place. Man, you got to be f***ing joking right now. Like, so so I have to just quit my vacation that I already paid for? I have to just come home so I can file a f***ing report that you guys will file and then nothing will ever be found? So it's all pointless? Well, no, I mean, it's not pointless. Like I said, if you file a report in person, it lets us know you had nothing to do with this. How the f*** am I supposed to get on a f***ing plane in two days? Tell me that. You know how much that's going to cost? Well, I mean, maybe you should call your airline, ask them about that. I mean, I would suggest maybe a red-eye flight or maybe try flying standby. I cannot believe it.
Okay, look, so, so when I get back, who do I file this report with? Like, do I call you? Yeah, you can call me. I'm um, asked for Detective Derulo, D-E-R-U-L-O. Or you can uh, try my direct line. I'll give that to you right now, okay? You ready? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking for some, I'm looking for some paper right now. Hold on. All right, here. Give me, give me the fucking paper, please. Okay, go ahead. All right, it's uh, 757-962-66. But do me a favor. Don't call it until you get back here either today or tomorrow. Fine. So what do I do in the meantime? Like, are you guys just going to leave my apartment the way it is? No, we'll seal it up for you. And then when you get home tonight or tomorrow, you can have a look at it for yourself. Okay, well, I'll, I'll call you as soon as I get back. Okay, all right. Sorry about your apartment. Yeah, man, thanks. Whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Well, now, here's the question. Wait, wait, well, wait till he gets back, first of all, and finds out nothing happened. <laughs> Do you think he's going to be more relieved or angry? I'm not sure. I mean, probably both, I guess. But what number did you give him? Like, did you just make that up? Uh, no, actually, th- that number is a... Uh, it, it is a popular nightclub in Virginia Beach where the women dance with very little clothing oh on. My God. I just can't wait till he calls the booby bar and keeps asking for Officer Derulo. Oh.